Boston Marathon will kick off in just a few days from now. It will be the first run since last year's terrible, deadly bombings. News Aid's Ken Pierce live in our New Haven newsroom this midday with more on the life-saving device that was so crucial up there last year. Ken. And Keith, it's a tourniquet. It's been around for a long time, although this... We're used to seeing defibrillators on the walls in public places, but here in Hartford Hospital, there's something else right next to it. It's called a bleeding control bag. You open it. Inhale shares, gloves to protect yourself tourniquets, hemostatic dressings. The idea was born right here at Hartford Hospital, and the Boston Marathon showed everyone how good the idea was. Think of all those people who lost limbs and lost blood very quickly as a result. And we've learned that the simple use and deployment and training in the use of tourniquets to control bleeding in these mass casualty events does indeed save lives. It's terrible we have to worry about these things, but we do these days. Imagine a bomb going off. It could be crucial minutes before emergency crews get there. Imagine an active shooter scenario where the emergency crews might not be able to get to the wounded. It is critical that the public know how to use this. And believe me, it's not that hard. This hand has been severely injured and okay. it's massively bleeding, actually onto death. You quickly put this on, cinch it down. This is Velcro, so it sticks to itself. This is a windlass, which really, when you tighten it, it squeezes on the vessels and stops bleeding, and you could probably feel it yes, rarely biting you now. When the bleeding stops, it's tight enough, and the victim has a better chance of living and maybe even keeping that hand. These bags are in every lobby here at the hospital, and they may be in more places soon. I think that what we're going to see is these will be deployed around the country, similarly in public spaces as we've seen defibrillator devices deployed. We'll see them in airports and restaurants, uh, public forums throughout the entire country. Now, this is not something that the Hartford Hospital came up with on its own. A whole panel of nationwide experts has now signed off on what is now called the Hartford Consensus, and they're about to take the idea to Washington. Those bags that you saw there might soon be part of nationwide federal government policy. Live in the New Haven Newsroom, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you.